Hello everyone and welcome to Tipsy where we actually provide you with top tips to meet your specific needs. So if you're new to this channel, consider hitting the like and subscribe button and also enable the notification bell icon so as to be the very first to receive new post notifications and updates whenever we create a new video or tutorial. So today we are actually going to be walking you through a top number one strategy that you can actually use to predict home or away game win match picks predictions using a website called statarea.com. This is how the front page actually looks like. And once you are here on the front page of statarea.com, make sure to come to this area that says predictions and click on it directly. By default, it actually looks like this from the home page. But once as you are here, you want to make sure to come to this area that says predictions and click on it directly. Once you do that, you're actually going to be loaded to a page that looks like this. And the next step you actually want to take is to come to this area that says select date. Make sure to select date based on the different date displayed to you as you can see on this menu navigated button here. By default, I'm going to leave it on the date of today. And you can also sort by competition, start time, and country based on this navigated menu here. Also, by default, I'll leave it on competition for the purpose of this tutorial. So the first step to take is to make sure that you navigate to the area where you are going to see a section that says all predicted matches and start to scroll down, as you can see in this case. Once you scroll down, you are going to be listed with games, as in this case here, in the first game, Germany Cup is a match between ROB, the Pex, playing with Entrance Frankfurt. Now, for us to predict the home or the away team to win matches, you are going to see that there is actually a section that says 1x2, where 1 simply means the home team to win and 2 simply means the away team to win. And you are going to see an area that is that says tip here, which is actually based on the prediction that this website has actually predicted. In this case, they are predicting that the home, the home team will actually win in this case. But of course, we are, we are actually going to draw our own line of odd range to consider so as to come out with the best picks by using this website. What you need to focus on as a first step is to look at the probability of occurrence based on the home or the away team to win. As you can see in this case, we have 56%. For the home team to win, we have 25% for draw and we have 19% for the away team to win. To draw our own line of odd range, if we are to consider the home or the away team to win, then of course, let's look at the possibility of the fact that the home team should be above 60%. In this case, it is lesser than 60%, which means it is 56% for this case. In other words, we are not going to consider the fact that the home team, Arul Apex, is going to win in this case. Also, if you look at the away team based on any matches, if the probability is above 60%, then of course, we are going to also consider that as the away team to win. In this case, this first match has not yet met our criteria, so we are actually going to skip that area and navigate to the next game. Now, we should focus only in this area of 1x2, to see if we are going to see a sections, a sections that actually have predictions where the probability is above 60% for either the home or the away team to win. So I will just scroll by default. I want to go to an area where it is actually in the Malaysia Superliga where I've seen a game here as an example for this tutorial. So I want to actually scroll to Malaysia Superliga. So we are actually going to use a particular prediction statistics to follow when you see any game that has the odd range of above 60% as we have actually mentioned based on our line of odd. So I want to go to Malaysia. So I want to screw. Let's check for that. Okay, in the case of the Malaysia Superliga, you are going to see that for the away team to win based on the probability of range here is 70. In other words, it is above 60%. And it's actually good to actually consider teams like this to analyze it from the inside. So once as you see a match where the percentage range of either the home or the away team to win is above 60%, as in this case, 
the next step you actually want to take is to navigate to this area here where you're actually going to see a network sign. Make sure to click on the network sign and once you do that, a drop down menu will actually be displayed to you as in this case. Now what we want to do as the next step is to first of all navigate to a section here where you're actually going to see brief team information. In the brief team information, you have the two matches as you can see here. In this area, you can actually see the rate at which the performance of both the home and the away team based on lose and win as in this case. The very important area to consider is this area that actually says average goal scored and average goal conceded. You're actually going to see the average goal scored per game and the goal at which they concede based on the home and the away team as you can see here. In this case, it was actually the away team that has a fair right of 70% based on probability of occurrence for the away team to win. In the case here, you are going to see that the average rate at which the away team score goals is 4.4. In other words, they are very, very high at scoring. For any team that has good scoring capacity, then the, the range based on the average goal scored is actually 1.8 and 2.0. But in this case, it is not just 1.8 or 2.0, but it is 4.4. In other words, it is very high at scoring as compared to the home team where the average goal scored rate is only 1.4, which is not even up to 1.8 to be considered as good at scoring. In other words, you can see that the away team has more chances of scoring as compared to the home team. Next is for you to consider the rate at which this team actually concede. If the away team has a good scoring capacity, but the home teams concede a lot, the home team actually defend a lot, then it will be very difficult for goals to actually occur in this match. So we'll also need to look at the rate at which the team actually concede to consider if we are going to take this match or not. In this case, you are going to see that the rate, the rate at, win, at which the away team actually concede goal is 0 0.1. In other words, the away team is very defensive. To look at the probability range of defensive factor is to look at the odd range between 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 for teams that are very defensive. In this case, the away team is 0 0.1, which shows that it is not even up to 0 0.5 and it is lesser than 0 0.5. In other words, they are very, very defensive. In this case, the home team, for this home team to actually score a goal here is very, very difficult because the opponent is very defensive. But for the home team, you are going to see that the rate at which they concede is 1.6. In other words, they are not defensive. For team to be considered as not defensive, then the odd range or the percentage based on average goal concede should be at least 1. But in this case, it is not just 1, but it is above 1, which means it is already above 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3 and it is up to 1.6. In other words, they concede a lot. So in this case, since the away team is high at scoring, and the home team is high at conceding, then of course, the possibility of the away team, which is Jahor, will actually score a lot of goals. In other words, the away team will actually win this game based on the analytic statistics that have been detailed inside of this area. Also, you can also look at the possibility of the fact that goals will be possible even over 1.5 or 2.5, and which cases sometimes 3.5 goals in cases like this because the away team has a very high offensive factor and the home team is good at conceding. If you also come to this area that you can see over and under goal probability, you are going to see that over 2.5 goal odd range is 1.35, which is a good odd range of over 2.5 goal to actually occur in matches like this. To look at the good odd range of over 2.5 goal, then of course you should look at the possibility or odd range of between 1.20 to 1.40 as maximum for over 2.5 but in this case it is not up to 1.40 but it is 1.35 to tell you that based on the statistics here and the odd range the probability of goals as an over 1.5 or 2.5 goal to occur here is very high telling you again that in other words that for this goal to actually occur mostly the away team has the higher chances of scoring this goal as compared to the home team which actually tells you that the home team will actually take the lead as compared to the, the the away team will actually take the lead as compared to the home team so I actually also want to show you another here based on what we have actually analyzed we want to come to this area that says Croatia and try to look at the match between uh Rijeka here you are going to see that it is 65 based on probability here which is already above 60 
as our line of range of occurrence so we are actually going to click the network sign to have that display here and you are going to see that based on this statistic here the home team is better as compared to the opponent based on win lose and draw as compared to these two now you are going to see that the rate at which the home team actually score is 1.9 which tells you that it has a good chance of scoring as compared to the opponent which is 0 0.9 which is not even up to one in other words the home team score more as compared to the away team and based on the rate at which they concede, you are going to see that the away team concede a lot, which is 2.2. In other words, they, they are very, very conceding as compared to the home team, which is already only 1.4. So in other words, if you look at these statistics here, the home team score more than the away team and the away team concede more than the home team. In other words, most of the goals that will occur here will be actually scored by the home team. And we can also look at the probability of the home team to actually win in this match as it is concerned. Also, you can also look at the probability of goals here. Since the home team is going to win, then at least more than one goal can occur in this match where you can see that since the away team is more conceding, then the home team has more power at home to score. Then we can also look at over 1.5 goal possibility to occur in this match in full time where most of the goal will actually be scored by the home team. And some of you, you in this kind of cases, you can want to look at the possibility of the home team to win an over 1.5 goal as a kind of predictions where the odd range will be higher. So these are the two games that we want to use this strategy to analyze so that you can actually see the inside and to understand this strategy to pick out the best home and away match win predictions when it concerns this particular website. So thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and also enable the notification bell icon so as to be the very first to receive new post notifications and update and see you again in our next episode. Bye-bye.